Case study, Sue Grafton. S is for Schizoid Personality Disorder. Sue, great to see you. Have a seat. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeffrey. <laughs> Anytime you want. I'm just so excited to revisit a whole new pass at the Alphabet series, but for children. Well, I'm happy to hear that. You know, I love the alphabet, and uh, I love murder, and anytime you can combine those and uh, make a little coin, <laughs> happy to participate. Such a jokester, such good humor about your own work. Thank you. And doubling up the letters is a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. But And I'm just spitballing here. So what would you do with M.M.? Um, M.M. is for Marilyn Manson, who makes fantastic dance tunes that uh, you can learn about rhythm, dancing, and a uh, little bit of makeup, tasteful makeup for the younger girls and uh, boys with questions. Uh, a, children don't know who Marilyn Manson is and B. Well, they will now when I tell them who she is. No, it's a, it's a he. Sometimes. And I don't think many adults remember who Marilyn Manson is. Why don't you look down at my t-shirt? Uh, I know who Marilyn Manson is. Oh, wow. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Now get your eyes back off here. Okay. Mm. Well, I, I hope you didn't think that was inappropriate. You asked me to look down. I did. Down. I did tell you to. Okay. Moving on. More titles. I'm sure we'll find one that will work for everyone. Mm -hmm. Anything in the J's? That's certainly my favorite letter. Oh, yeah. J is for Jermaine, Michael's brother, who uh, wasn't terribly successful. I can't see that being a big seller, Sue. Well, you know, Abraham Lincoln said you have to fail 700,000 times before you can free even one slave. Well, that's Malcolm Gladwell, and it's... You his hair is so big. I think all his ideas are in his hair. I don't care for him. You shear that sheep, and you'll find shit. Okay. How about P is for prolapse? That's what can happen to your bottom if you try too hard to make a number two after you've been eating raisins or just cheese. And are, is this for kids or are we on elderly people now? Have you ever tried to hold in a secret? Maybe you did something bad and you don't want other people to know? Well, sometimes people do that with food, even youngsters. And then they squeeze really hard and then something terrible can happen in their slacks. I think that they should know about that. And you've done that with a secret? Yeah, say you've got a food secret and you try to get it out real bad because it hurts. And then you damage your bottom. <laughs> What is a food secret? Maybe you've been eating in a Jamaican neighborhood, somewhere you're not welcome. And this is a book? It's a series of books. It's probably a trilogy. You're right. That book should be a trilogy. Okay, you know, I, let's go back to single letters and just start again. Maybe it's not about murder. Maybe these are love novels. Oh, mm -hmm. Just spitball in here. A is for... A is for aviation, the miracle of flight. Well, that sounds like a technical manual. Well, let's say your grandmother lives far away. Maybe she's in a prison colony. How are you going to get there? Are you going to walk? Maybe a helpful pilot will scoop you up with a little mechanical arm and place you on his lap. Sue, is there anything outside the realm of letters that you want to do? Maybe a... I do enjoy numbers. Okay, I'll, I'll roll with I'll it. I'll tell you what, sometimes when I get very angry, instead of saying naughty swear words, because as you know, my vocabulary is quite a bit larger than yours, instead of saying it something feisty, like Finnegan's Biscuits is one I used to say a lot, now I'll just put it on numbers. I'll yell a sequence of numbers, and I find that much more relaxing. Three is for three dodos. Three nefarious dodos. The end. Boy, I, I don't know. Do you not like the number three? Because there's four. Nothing. What about four ovens in a row? One's got a pizza, two have honeyed hams, and one's got a secret. A food secret? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it the Jamaican thing? What is it this time? Well, you have to read the book. Reach into my purse. Uh, with my hand? With your hand. Uh, the other hand. Okay, it's just... The Place your other hand on the small of my back. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this, Sue. Mm, smell my breath. I have a wife. Just smell my breath. You won't get pregnant. Mm, do you smell that? Licorice? Yeah. That's a Greek anise that I've seasoned. You smell that licorice? That waft? Wouldn't it be fun if waft was W-H-A-F-T? Waft? If I say it that way, I take liberty with words Shakespeare did. Uh, so w what's the secret I'm looking for here? Watch your lips. I want to smell your tongue. I'm trusting you on this. Looks like someone else has a food secret. Help me teach children to read. <laughs> I want you to reach deep inside yourself. Squeeze an organ. Sue, I can't do this. Squeeze your pancreas and share an ancient Cyrillic memory with me. Okay, Sue, if you don't have a, a, a pitch for a normal book, I'm afraid we're going to have to end this meeting. Reach down my throat. Sue, last chance. Mm -hmm. Pitch me a book I can sell. Well, I hope this doesn't seem lazy, but I'm going to lift up my Marilyn Manson shirt and you'll see a new manuscript tattooed on my sternum. It's very tiny. If you get a Chinaman in here to decipher it, you'll have a hit. What's it called? V is for cleavage. Cleavage. <laughs>